my sassies. Welcome back to Projections of Sassiness, where projects and sassiness go hand in hand. So in today's video, I want to say Happy New Year first off. New year, new goals, okay? This is my new she shed. I'm not going to call it a she shed because everybody calls it a she shed, okay? So this is going to be maybe my soap sanctuary. For those of you that don't know, I am starting a pampering product business where I have bath and body products. I do soaps, body scrubs, uh, body butter, um, what else do I do? Lip balm. You know, I'd be so busy. I know I do a lot of stuff, but I can't think of all of it right now. Anyways, <laughs> watch for my website to launch. That's going to be February 12th. We're going to be doing all of that in this shed here because I had to get out of the kitchen, y'all. And plus all of my other crafty things that I like to do. We're in progress of doing the she shed. We've got the insulation going and the drywall, me and the hubby. The floors, I don't know if you can see it that much, but I'm not trying to give you guys too much because I have a video that I'm putting together to show you the whole coming forth of this shed, okay? <laughs> We're going to get into this video. We're going to do a wall yarn decor. I can't really say it's macrame, but it's kind of like in that macrame kind of boho theme, but there's no knots to tie or anything like that. It's real simple, easy, only a few supplies, and those supplies will be listed down in the description area. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can see all of my videos, y'all. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Right on into these supplies, y'all. You're going to need a cardboard piece. This is to wrap your yarn. And you'll see later why you need a cardboard piece of a good size because it just needs to cover the bottom of your circle. A flat wooden stick. I found this at Michael's. Actually, I didn't find it. There was a young kid flicking it all around and I was like, ooh, where's that from? And he gave it to me. <laughs> Some yarn of your choice. The yarn colors I went with this beige speckled look and then it has like this brown in it too. A measuring tape. My Gorilla Glue Sticks, and of course my glue gun. So now I don't know if you can see, but I've already made my mark to cut this table round in half. This is an 18 by 18 that I got from Lowe's. I'm just taking my Dremel and cutting that right down the middle. Because this 18 by 18 round is a little thick, I just flip it over and make the mark in the same place and cut again. And then it just falls right off. Falls in two. I'm taking my sanding block because I cannot find where I put my sander at. I cannot find. I do not know where I put my sander at. And uh, this is the best I got right now. We're going to sand that down and make it a smooth. And then on to staining. Now this stain is an ebony, no, it's espresso, I lied. It's espresso, and it's a little dark. See that? I don't want it that dark. So I'm gonna take my towel and try to dab just a little and put on a light coat. And just one coat will do. I'm gonna give this one more wipe down to make it a little bit lighter. And woo, look at that wood grain in there. That is just pretty, y'all. All right, let's move on. Now we're back inside and for this next step, this is where the cardboard and the yarn come in. You're gonna take your yarn and just like, I don't know if you guys saw my hanging yarn chandelier video, I will pop it on the screen above. Check that one out but we're just gonna wrap this around so that we don't have to go and cut um, individual pieces for our wall decor. Now 
And y'all, I lost count, but that looks like a good amount right there that I wrapped. This is that flat wood stick. I've already made marks on each end where I want the yarn to end. So here I'm just putting that flat wood underneath one end of the yarn and then cutting the opposite end to make my individual pieces. I wrapped more of the beige and put it on the wood flat there. I'm just trying to come up with a pattern. So I don't know really what I'm looking for or what I'm going for, but uh, we're gonna make it do what it do, right? <laughs> so now I'm just doing that with the brown, same thing. Y'all know that I could have stopped there, but I gotta be a little extra. So I split the two browns and wrapped some more beige just to go ahead and drop in between the brown there. And I don't need this to be exact or perfect. It doesn't have to be the same amount on one side than the other. We're just coming up with our own custom yarn wall decor. And it's cute. Now that you've got your pattern or the look that you're going for, you're gonna go ahead and take all of your yarn. This is where this wooden piece uh, comes in handy because you don't have to separate it. You know, it's not gonna be sitting together because that's dividing it. And you're gonna flip your yarn over just like this. And then you can use your glue, your hot glue gun to glue it to the stick. So once you've got that glued down and pressed down firmly, you're gonna flip over your yarn and you're gonna have some stragglers that don't stick, but it's way better than having to glue each piece of this yarn on this wooden stick, all right? <laughs> so those are easy. You can just pick those up and glue them onto the stick individually, but a lot less work. Now we've got our two pieces. The wood half has been drying. That's dry and are y'all ready to attach the two pieces? So you're just gonna simply take the wood um, that your yarn is on and hot glue it to the other piece. Now you're gonna wanna cut this so that you complete that round circle, the full circle, and you use the other half of your wood round as a guide to cut your yarn. You don't have to, but I flipped mine over. I thought it would be easier to cut with the wood on the top part of the yarn. So I flipped it over here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the yarn into that circular shape.
Now I'm just making sure I'm getting all the little pieces, you know, making the shape right. And now for the glue, just hot gluing it to our wood piece. And we are pretty much done, y'all. So tell me your thoughts on this lovely project here. I want to know what you guys think. Leave me some comments down below. I respond to each and every one of you guys. I love reading all the comments. You know, we keep it positive on this channel. We cast out any negativity, right? But yeah, we're pretty much done. Just cleaning it up here a little bit. And then I'm going to show you how I um, just put a little um, hanger on the back or wire with some screws to hang the picture and cut off the sides. And we are pretty much done. Some pictures are coming. Well, that wraps up this weekend's video, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. It was a lot of fun spending time with you guys this weekend. Happy New Year's once again. Go ahead and create and be great. Do something good for yourself. And thanks for watching. Until the next video, stay safe, stay blessed. And remember, y'all, always stay sassy.